The first image he told me about was of three children on a road in Iceland in 1965. <laughs> he said that for him it was the image of happiness. And also that he had tried several times to link it to other images, but it never worked. He wrote me, one day I'll have to put it all alone at the beginning of a film with a long piece of black leader. If they don't see happiness in the picture, at least they'll see the black. He wrote, I've been around the world several times, and now only banality still interests me. At dawn, we'll be in Tokyo. He wrote me, I will have spent my life trying to understand the function of remembering, which is not the opposite of forgetting, but rather its lining. We do not remember. We rewrite memory much as history is rewritten. Do I have an original thought in my head, my bald head? Maybe if I were happier, my hair wouldn't be falling out. Life is short. I need to make the most of it. Today's the first day of the rest of my life. I'm a walking cliche. <laughs>
I really need to go to the doctor and have my leg checked. There's something wrong. Hook on. If I stopped putting things off, I would be happier. All I do is sit on my fat ass. If my ass wasn't fat, I would be happier. I wouldn't have to wear these shirts with the tails out all the time. Like that's fooling anyone. I need to turn my life around. What do I need to do? I need to fall in love. I need to have a girlfriend. I need to read more, improve myself. I need to get help for that. He liked the fragility of those moments suspended in time. Those memories whose only function had been to leave behind nothing but memories. He wrote, On this trip, I've tracked it with the relentlessness of a bounty hunter. <laughs> 